People take their kids too seriously. My wife actually had a baby. I say my wife had a baby because that's what happened. I'd love to lie to you and say, I had a baby, but it's not true. Any dude that says, I had a baby, he's out of his mind. <laughs> Stop taking so much credit. She had a baby. I thought I was having a baby because the doctor was like, hey, Mr. Williams, are you ready to have a baby? I'm like, oh, I don't think you know how this works. <laughs> uh, I know it's 2018, but I ain't gonna be able to pull this one off. This ain't Hollywood. <laughs> no, you can have a baby. No, no, I don't think so. I was in the room. She had the baby. I was eating Jello. <laughs> this is how it works. I filled up on Jello, man. I've never ate so much Jello in my life. It was free. It was free Jello. And I looked at my wife. I was like, "Hey, baby, I'm about to eat fifteen thousand dollars worth of Jello. We getting our money's worth one way or the other. <laughs> bring on the Jello." <laughs> It's only for the patient, sir. If you don't bring that jello, you're gonna be the patient. Bring on the jello. As long as you see me breathing, you just keep bringing jello. When I gasp for breath, that's your cue. Bring more jello in the room. It was like I was at a Brazilian meat restaurant. I didn't put my green sign down. Until my green sign goes down, you just keep bringing jello. That's the way we're gonna work this operation. It was killing it. Thought I was having a baby. That's the way I went into the whole process. I went to birthing classes to figure out how to have a baby. What, what? Birthing classes, I signed up. I'm the first one in the room, man. I walk into birthing class, it's like, hey, Mr. Williams. And I'm like, yes, I am here, here. Uh, where's your wife? She's parking the car. Uh, she don't move as fast as she used to. You know what I mean? It's kind of wobbly. I'm gonna have this baby by myself. She's not taking this baby seriously. I'm, I'm a single father already, man, this is horrible. <laughs> I wanted to have a baby. I watched a, a C-section DVD at my house just to figure it out. They mailed it to my house. I did it. I wanted to have a baby. I put it in my house, my screen, my TV, big screen, popcorn, snow caps, held no stops. I wanted to have a baby. I even watched deleted scenes. They call it the Tarantino cut. I watched that too. I wanted to have a baby. Went to, went to all the, the female appointments with her. I, I, I was in there. The doctor said, Mr. Williams, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready to have a baby. She went into labor. I'll never forget. It's the craziest time of my life. She looked at me. She's like, hey, I'm having pain. Perfect. It's good. We're both in pain. Yeah, we're having the pain together. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're both in pain. You think this is the way I want to spend my Saturday? Absolutely not. <laughs> So I got a fantasy football draft. I am auto-drafting as we speak. I'm ready to have a baby. Get to the hospital, we walk in. Walk into the hospital, and uh, I'm like, yes, yes, yeah, 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 we're here. And she was, he was like, oh, uh, where's your wife? <laughs> She's parking the car. <laughs> I mean, come on, man, She's not moving as fast as you used to. Um, so let me just get two wristbands. I got two wristbands. I snapped her up when she came in, snapped me up when I came in. We sat down in the delivery room. Ready to have a baby. Now, my only reference for having a child was movies. In a movie, they have like three babies in like 90 minutes. You know, they can really crank them out. You know, like, in, in real life, it's, it's an all-day deal. You got to pack a bag. You know what I mean? I wasn't ready. So we're sitting there. She's in labor. She's in pain. I'm like, hey, we're both in pain. This is taking longer than I thought. Man, my back is killing me. Uh, can I get one of those pillows? This is stressing me out, man. A lot of pain going all around the room. She has the baby. Baby comes out. Big moment. Doctor looks at me. Mr. Williams, do you want to hold your baby for the first time? Bring it on. Hands me the baby. Now, when you first have a baby, uh, the baby's like not quite finished. You know what I mean? It's, it's kind of lumpy and discolored. You know, it kind of looks like it just got hit by Jack Tatum. You know what I mean? This baby has to go through concussion protocol. You know, they throw the baby in the tent. You know, they kind of hose it off. They put a little, they put a little hat on the baby, which is really, it's not a big hat. It's like a little, little it's like a little yarmulke. You know what I mean? Every baby is Jewish when it first comes out. So that's, and then they, they hand me the baby, and I looked at it, and I kissed the baby. 
and I wipe my mouth immediately. <laughs> I don't trust this baby. You know, and uh, <laughs> the doctor is like, oh, you guys look like you're doing good. I'm gonna get out of here and go home. It's like, what? Um, hold on. Uh, you're forgetting the baby. She's like, oh no, you get to keep the baby. What, right now? <laughs> right now, I didn't know we get to keep the baby right now. I thought you kept the baby for a little while and then we get to decide if we wanted to keep the baby. I, I didn't know that's the way it worked. When I seen the baby in movies, you put the baby behind bulletproof glass with other babies that the baby don't know and they kind of hang out and we get to visit the baby on the weekend uh, and, and we put our hands on the glass like the baby's in prison. And then we match up hands with the baby just to make sure we like the baby's vibe. And if we don't like the baby, like, oh, I don't like that baby. He's had a mean swagger about him. He had a teardrop tattoo. But try again. And then you put the baby with other babies that nobody wants. So I didn't know we get to take the baby home. Said, no, you got to take the baby home. It's fine. Take the baby home. So me and the child hang out during the day. And uh, she's dope. She's fantastic. First time we got home, I, I'll never forget. Uh, my wife hands her to me. He's like, oh, here you go. And uh, she tried to nurse me. This is very uncomfortable. <laughs> and I looked at my wife, you know, for comfort. I was like, hey, she just tried to nurse me. She was like, oh, you need to lose some weight. So what? <laughs> I am the victim here. It's a me too situation. Me too. You can watch my entire comedy special for 99 cents, or you can get more comedy clips. Just click one of the buttons. Subscribe, just click. And the faster you click, the faster you can get to what you want to get to. But if you don't click, then I just, I just sit here awkwardly.